hello everyone so today i'm going to show you how to use how to um, do this grenade throwing a mechanism for the top down mode now here you can see the grenade throwing arc is pointing to the exact location that i am uh, pointing with my cursor so here when i throw we can see grenade is thrown exactly into that position and this as we have two game modes for both uh, top down and the third person the system is still working third person system as well here if i switch to third person mode now the grenade throwing is like this okay so this is what we are going to work on today and before we get started here is the full playlist that i worked on the th top down shooter series and here is the full playlist where i work on the third person mode so everything in the third person mode comes to the top down series as well because it's the same project and also you can download the full project files in my patreon page uh, once you become a member uh, not just the project files of this project i have done thousands of projects in my channel so you can access all of them once you become a member without any limit so feel free to check it out i leave links to everything in the description below and now let's see how to do the grenade throw in the top down mode okay so in the third person game mode i have already implemented this uh, grenade throwing system which as you can see i can it's already working we have already worked on this so we can aim and throw and grenades so it's working but if i change to the top down game mode uh, uh, that's not properly working it's kind of working but here now you can see this is where i am aiming at but if i press g my predicted uh, location of the throw arc is somewhere else not exactly overlapping with the mouse target that i have pointed by the cursor so this is what we are going to fix now okay so how do we fix it so here i think i implemented throwing mechanics in this als base character uh, close everything and only up and then search throw grenade throwing okay here okay so here this is how uh, this is how i show the projectile path basically i have these all these things and here i have this throw velocity so this is the part that matters for me right now because yeah if i so this this is the part where i draw the prediction line predicted arc of the of the grenade throw so here if i open this now as you can see i just get the control rotation and the forward vector and add a, add some angle to that multiply so i give that as the throw velocity so this works in the third person mode but we are not taking into account what game mode we are in because earlier we only had the third person mode we didn't have a top down mode so here i'll convert this to a um, function this part uh, uh, how do we do it okay let me expand this first and this was what connected right now let's collapse this to a function get throw 
error ct i'll make it a po function so we don't need to connect it to execution line okay now let's go inside so basically this should be the return if we are in the third person game mode so we can check what is our current game mode is get controller get sorry get player controller get control no get current game mode right now here let's have a switch based on the game mode so if it is third person this is the way if not now how do we calculate so from the player controller again i can get target location make sure to use this clm bpi controller interface so this basically represents the location in the world space that is represented by the cursor that means here location under this reticle the location that we would hit if i should so now now this should be the target when i throw a grenade this is where i need to throw the grenade so so in order to go to this location we need to find the velocity the grenade throwing should have the velocity vector so to figure out that actually there is a uh, function called suggest projectile velocity this so this should be the end location so what's gonna be the start location so that would be here we have this projectile start which is just uh, some just some location like this this would be the location that i start drawing the projectile so i'm gonna consider that as the start position so here that's the start and launch speed i'll say something like thousand let's try and i right now i don't need to trace and this is what we need to return By tracing, I think that that accounts for collisions on the way, but that is not that I don't need that for now. So here, now if I press G, now you see it exactly overlaps to the location that I am pointing with my cursor. So if I throw, uh, I don't think that would throw there. It's a different location that's because i am not using this get throw velocity when i actually throw the grenade so throw velocity now else i'm using it here okay in this actual throw for the actual throw also not just for the predict prediction part i need to use this get throw velocity now that should work see press g yep and throw yeah it works uh it was throwing a little bit further because of the bounce but the initial hit is correct okay so that's uh that's all i want to do here and the similar mechanism i have used or throw in stones so here if i zoom out a little press edge
to throw stones to get the attention of enemies but I think I have disabled AI for these guys oh yeah they actually looked at it okay so yeah that's all I want to do for today all right so thanks for watching as always updated project files will be available here for download in the patron page link could be in the description below and let me know if you have any questions in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe see you in another episode goodbye